Welcome back, everybody. Now, day two in our series, Stressed Out Teens. We are looking out at how young people today are overcoming the pressures they face that can be overwhelming at times. People like Sarah Pennington, an extraordinary young woman who is also a bona fide beauty pageant queen. But she came to embrace that crown by way of a very unusual path. Watch. 19-year-old Sarah Pennington marvels at her journey. Her newfound sense of peace is a far cry from the desperation she felt three years ago. There were times where I'd be just sobbing in my room, lights off, door shut, door locked, screaming, just wanting to get out of my own head because I couldn't, I couldn't function. Sarah's struggle began a decade ago. She was 11 when she was diagnosed with a mental health disorder, trichotillomania, or body-focused repetitive behavior. It is a compulsive hair pulling disorder, which is the same thing as nail biting. It just shows itself in a different way. It started small. I pulled out my eyebrows, my eyelashes. Then it grew worse. When I was 13 years old, I lost a lot of my friends at that age, and I think of that contributed to me starting pulling out my head hair. So by the time I was like the end of my eighth grade year, I basically didn't have any hair, like the crown of my head. By age 16, Sarah, hiding daily behind hats and wigs, says she contemplated suicide. That's when with her parents' blessing, she made the brave decision to seek hospitalization. I knew I needed more intense therapy. Sarah says the result of three months of inpatient therapy was extraordinary. Out of the hospital, she embraced her hairlessness and did something unexpected. She entered a beauty pageant. My friend actually recommended that I do the Miss America's Outstanding Teen local pageant. She said, I've been in this for a year. You would make a great fit. Your platform is absolutely perfect. To her own surprise, Sarah won the first pageant she entered, and she proceeded to enter more. Today, Sarah is the reigning Miss Maryland 2018 USA Ambassador. Sarah says she remains on a regimen of pills. She also has a psychiatric service dog, Daisy. And she has a mission to help others understand mental illness, to know that it's something as real as a physical malady, like diabetes or epilepsy, and that it's nothing to be ashamed of. She's trying to amplify the message all the time, to educate people, to try to grow people's understanding of, of a variety of different disabilities. Now, Sarah says she's finally at peace in her own skin. I was in this deep, dark little hole that I felt like I couldn't get out of, and it was a challenge to climb up the ladder. But when I got to the top, I got back up on my feet, and the sun was shining. There will always be that new day. And here with me now is Sarah Pennington. Sarah, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. So let's let's go back. You're 19 now. Yes. Right? Okay. So let's go back to 11 when it when it started. Mm -hmm. It started with the eyebrows. Yes. You say it was. It felt like an uncontrollable urge. Like like you get the hiccups. You can't stop it. Yes. It is very very hard to control. It just kind of, you just start pulling out your hair, and all of a sudden you don't have any eyebrows and eyelashes anymore. And it's hard because it's something that you want to control when you're not doing it, but when you're doing it, you're you don't, you don't have any control. Wait, was it soothing to, to pull the hair out? To some degree it is, and then to some degree it's just kind of, you pull it out and then you're like, oh, I want another one, and another one, and all of a sudden, it's just hair, mm -hmm. a pile of hair. <laughs> and what do you want people to know about this condition? So trichotillomania is a condition that is a part of body-focused repetitive behaviors, which is a category of disorders, and they are a lot more common than a lot of people think, and that is the important thing is people realize this is an actual disorder. This isn't some kind of habit that you have. It is, it is psychological, and it can also can include skin picking and nail biting and hair pulling. Those are the three main ones that mm -hmm. fall under body-focused repetitive behaviors. Um, so clinical psychologist Dr. Marla Dibler is here with us as well. What, how do you know when your child's, because a lot of people with the hair and the nails, so how do you know when it's crossed over into something that is dangerous? Well, the behavior itself is typically uncontrollable. So they attempt to decrease or cease the behavior, but they have a difficult time doing that. And it results in hair loss and damage to the body, which is unwanted. Is it caused by stress? I mean, what causes it? For some people, so a number of factors contribute to the behavior. 
there are psychological factors, emotional factors, environmental factors, but there's an underlying biological um, underpinning to the disorder. So what is the treatment then? Yeah. The treatment is actually behavioral in nature. There's a comprehensive behavioral treatment that helps people to better manage the behavior mm -hmm. so that they can meet their urges with more adaptive behaviors. And what do you do, Sarah, now? Do you do you still try to do that? I mean, is the hair, you know, and yeah. obviously it's short now, so. <laughs> yes, keeping it short really helps me out because I am able to control how much hair I pull because it's too short to pull out. But I have Daisy, my psychiatric service dog, who helps me out. She actually paws at me if I do this. And she is the most is amazing right? thing. Yes, she's, I love her. That's Daisy, I know. Daisy and Charlie met backstage and they're friends already, <laughs> first of all. Yes. But she's sweet. Even when she was sitting over there, she was making little love sounds at you. So. Yeah, she doesn't like being anywhere except for right here. So uh, she's doing really good. I'm proud of her. So you are on a full scholarship to college. Yes. You are continuing to compete in pageants. What's next for you? So my big project right now is actually working on the Show Your Hero project, which is my baby nonprofit. I hope to actually make it official 501c3. And the whole goal of it is to empower young people who have a psychological disorder, go through a program that builds self-confidence, builds their um, ability to advocate for themselves, and then give them that path that I was able to find and give them a meaning in life. And remove the stigma of mental illness. It's, it's too stigmatized and teens wrestle with whether they're the only one or it's something of which to be ashamed, and it is not. Thank you for being so brave and sharing your story. Thank you. All the best to you and Daisy. Oh, thank you so Aww. much. <laughs> you can learn more about Sarah's story at today.com slash Megan Today. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.